Okay, come into your seated position and then uncross your legs and cross them the other way because creatures of habit, we always do it the same. Sitting bones behind you, core activated, supporting your back and spine just straight. And we'll do a little warm up for the spine first and then some bridges. Shoulders back and down, crown toward the ceiling. Take a moment to breathe, just focusing inward, that yoga frame of reference. And then ribs toward the back of your body and round forward, bringing your chin slightly in, forehead down toward the floor. And then inhaling, rotate your face to the front, lift your heart and drop your shoulders, coming into a little back bend. And then exhaling, ribs tucking in, and again, rounding forward. And then face forward, looking slightly up and dropping your shoulders a little back bend as you come back up. And then straighten everything out. And oh, let's start switching our legs because that's always a good idea. One hand on the floor, the other arm out, palm toward the ceiling, bring your arm above your shoulder. Side stretch time, just lean to the side. Keep both hips, both sitting bones down as you reach over, arm next to your ear, head and fingertips reaching away. Sink down into that hip sitting bone that you're moving away from. You can bend your elbow down to the floor, just keep sliding out with your hand. Get that stretch going. Inhale back to the top and release that arm. Switch your legs again, because we like to even things out. So again, hand to the floor, opposite arm out, palm toward the ceiling, hand over your shoulder. Slide over, no twist on this one. Remember, face the front and keep both sitting bones and hips down. Keep reaching it out through the head and fingertips. Bend your elbow for that extra stretch if you want or not always personal practice. Feel the ribs, stretch them apart. And then inhale back upright, exhale that arm down. Take a moment and breathe as you circle your shoulders a couple of times. And once again, switch your legs around. And we'll do our twist. So arms at your sides, Sitting bones slightly behind you, crown reaching the ceiling, bring your arms out, palms toward the ceiling, over your shoulders and stretch up. And as you exhale, turn to one side, whole body, hips, ribs, shoulder, hand to the outside of the knee and the other one right behind you on the floor. Stretch up, as you exhale, lift the hip you're moving away from slightly as you turn, hips, ribs and shoulder further toward the side. Take a breath, exhale and deepen as much as you'd like. Feel that whole spine moving into the twist. And then inhaling, bring your arms up as you turn back to the center and exhale your arms down. Switch your legs one more time and sitting bones again behind you. Arms at your sides, shoulders down, arms out, palms toward the ceiling, hands above your shoulders. Stretch way up and exhale, turning to the side. Hand to the outside of that knee, other hand right behind. Stretch up, separate those spine bones so you can move deeper into your twist. So hip comes slightly up so that your whole spine can move. Hips, ribs, and shoulder, turning as deeply into the twist as you'd like. Take a breath, just relax. And then inhaling, bring your arms up as you turn back to the center. Turn the palms out and bring them back down and into your seated position. Let's switch the legs one more time. Cup your hands around the knees. Ribs in, tuck your chin slightly, forehead down. And we'll do our circle. So come to one side, all the way around to the back, over to the other side. And exhale to the front. Keep going that same direction around the circle, letting that whole body get a little bit of movement. 
through that rotation. When you get back to the front, pause, and then circle the other way a couple of times. Inhaling to the back, exhaling to the front, feeling the stretch all the way around and back to the center. Inhale, sitting up, lift your knees, bring your legs out in front into step. Take a moment to breathe, exhaling any tension. And don't forget to stretch up through the crown of your head, relax your shoulders and keep that core activated. As you exhale, bring your feet to the end of the mat. We're going to do a reverse plank. So if you have wrist issues, you can put your thumbs inside, wrap your fingers around, and put your fists down on the floor. Otherwise, turn your palms down and fingertips toward your toes. And then hands right under your shoulders, whichever way you are. Press into them and rotate your feet toward the floor as you lift your hips and look up and see if you can get your body hips in line with your ankles and shoulders. Take a breath, activate that core, keep that lower back supported as you're up in your reverse plank. Stretch it out through the crown and toes going down toward the floor as much as you can. Hips are lifting, don't sink through the lower back. And then as you exhale, bring your hips back down and release again into staff position. Stretch up through the spine, exhale any tension. Circle your wrists, always a good idea. And then using your core for support, exhale and lower to the floor. Take a moment there, that inclined integration, just feel the floor, feel your body, exhale any tightness. Separate your feet about hip width apart. Turn your hands, palms down near your sides. Setting bones toward your heels, bend your knees, and draw your heels in next to your sitting bones, feet flat on the floor, knees straight up. So remember, rolling at the top of the thighs to make sure that they're not spreading apart if those knees go in flopping out. So we're going to bend up, just strengthen the back a little bit first. So this one's really gentle. Just allow your sitting bones to go towards your heels and press your whole back down to the floor. And then as you inhale, lift your ribs and drop your sitting bones back down to the floor. So you get more of an arch under your back. And then exhale, press it down, sinking the whole back onto the mat. Inhale, arching up. And you can do this as emphatically or gently as you and your body need. Exhale and pressing down. Inhale, arching up. This is a really good one to start the day with, activating that core, getting support for your back during the day. And it's a back strengthener, plus it tones your abs, and that's always a good thing. So go ahead as often as you want doing this during the day. And then exhale and come back to your neutral position. Relax your shoulders, hands next to your feet and hips, palms down. We're going to, again, exhale, pushing the sitting bones toward your heels, press your back down. And this time as you inhale, lift your hips up, coming into bridge position. <clears throat> keep those knees straight up. So again, keep rolling in at the top of the thighs to make sure that you're not spreading the knees apart. Hands down on the floor. You can bring them under your hips. Clasp them just gently through the fingers, one finger inside, and then press the sides of your hands and your arms into the floor. Work up onto your shoulders, not your neck. So make sure your head is on the floor, your shoulders are supporting you, your arms are down and your feet are evenly supporting. Lift those hips evenly toward the ceiling. Nice little back bend in that bridge, just gently through that low back area. 
Take a breath. Exhale, press into your feet, arms, and shoulders. Keep breathing. Lift your heart maybe a little higher. And then release your hands, release your shoulders, mind your shoulder blades, your lower ribs, and your whole back, back to the floor. Take a moment, feeling what's going on in your entire body. And of course, we're going to do that again, but this time when you clasp your hands under, you put the other little finger inside, clasping with the fingers, shift it over one position. So once again, hands next to you, palms down, shoulders down, press the back down, sitting bones slightly toward your heels, back all the way to the floor. Inhale, lift your hips. So those hip bones come straight up, knees still hip width apart, make sure that they're not flopping out, hands on the floor, and then slide them together, clasp the opposite way. And again, sides of your hands on the floor, arms supporting you as you work onto your shoulders. <clears throat> as you get all the way up, check to make sure that those knees are still straight up, hips going straight up toward the ceiling, your head is on the floor, not your neck, and your shoulders are also down on the floor. So the shoulders, arms, and feet are supporting you evenly. Hips are lifting evenly toward the ceiling. <clears throat> and you're breathing. And you lift your ribs a little bit more as well. And get that whole bridge really arching up toward the ceiling. Take a breath. Press into those feet evenly. And then on an exhalation, release your hands. Release your shoulders shoulder blades, ribs, and spine all the way down. Take a breath or two, <clears throat> feeling that result of that back bend in your bridge. And we're going to do some variations on bridge. So again, we're starting in the same position. <clears throat> Heels right next to your sitting bones, feet flat on the floor, knees straight up. And then press your back down, sitting bones sliding toward your heels. Feel that whole back on the floor. Inhale, hips up toward the ceiling, knees still, hip width apart. Evenly feeling those feet support you and your arms and shoulders. Coming up onto your shoulders, clasp your arms, hands underneath you. <clears throat> and again, work higher onto the tops of your shoulders. Head on the floor, not your neck. Knees straight up, feet supporting evenly. <clears throat> Press into your feet and then keep the left foot on the floor and send your right leg straight out, <clears throat> thighs parallel to each other. Extend out through the base of the toes, ball of the foot area on that extended leg. Other foot supporting it, arms and shoulders supporting it. Lift your hips, don't let them drop. Take a breath or two. <clears throat> and then bend your knee, put the foot back down. Take a moment and lift the hips evenly. Hands release, shoulders release, shoulder blades, ribs and spine. As you get all the way back to the floor, take a moment and breathe. <clears throat> and of course, we've got to do that balancing your body on the other side. So starting at our beginning position, heels right near your sitting bones, knees straight up, hands palm down next to you. Shoulders down. Exhale, press the whole spine into the floor, slide those sitting bones toward your heels, feel that connection. And then inhale, hips coming up and rolling onto the shoulders gently. Clasp your hands the opposite way. Press the hands and arms into the floor. And again, up higher on your shoulders. Hips lifting evenly, knees still, hip width apart. And <clears throat> Chest gently lifting as well. Feel the shoulders supporting it, not your neck. Head on the floor, chest gently. Hips rising, knees still, hip with the foot. 
keep the opposite foot on the floor from last time and bring your leg parallel to the other one. Stretch out through the toes, lift the hips evenly and the heart. <clears throat> Take a breath. Exhale any tension. Foot pressing down, arms and hands and shoulders supporting you. And again, reach out through the toes, through the ball of the foot. And then bending your knee, bring the foot back down. Release your hands and your shoulders and roll your spine gently to the mat. Take a breath, exhaling any tension as you get all the way back down. <clears throat> Feel that core working as you go into your positions. And again, heels next to your sitting bones. We're going to do another variation. So once again, go ahead and make sure those sitting bones and heels are near each other. Knees are straight up. Hands, palms down at your side. Relax your shoulders down. And again, sitting bones towards your heels as you press down, feeling that core working. Inhale, lift your hips. Press into your feet, coming again into your bridge. Clasp your hands under you. Press into your hands and arms. Work up onto your shoulders, not your neck. And hips straight up, knees still, hip width apart. Take a moment there, breathing. Feel those feet supporting you evenly. And check out what's going on in your body. And again, you can stay there. You can go to our previous version with one leg extended, or you can bring it up toward the ceiling, straight as possible. And again, through the base of the toes, follow the foot area as you extend through the leg, whichever position you're in. It's evenly up toward the ceiling, heart lifting, and no pressure in your neck, shoulders, arms, and that foot on the floor supporting. Take a breath, lift your hips maybe a little higher, and then lower the leg, bend the knee, foot to the floor. Again, lifting your hips, evening these out, release your hands, your shoulders, shoulder blades, ribs, and spine. As it gets down, again, take a moment and breathe. <clears throat> Exhale any tension. And of course, yeah, you know what we have to do next. Balance the body, doing the same thing on the other side. Remember, personal practice, if those first versions were the ones you want to stick with, that's always okay. Once more, <clears throat> center your body. Feet hip width apart, knees straight up, shoulders down, hands, palms down next to you. Sitting bones toward your heels, back pressing down. Feel that core working as you inhale, bring your hips up. And again, press into your feet, lifting the hips. Clasp the opposite way once more under your hips. Arms supporting you, hands supporting you as you come up onto your shoulders. And keep that head down, not your neck. Check your knees, make sure they're still hip width apart. Hips evenly rising toward the ceiling. Take a moment, maybe ribs a little higher, chest a little higher as well. Spread out your toes, get connected into both feet, make sure those knees stay hip width apart, and bring that other leg out. So I've got the left leg out, parallel, and then I'm rising toward the ceiling with that leg straight up as much as it wants to go. If that's working for you, remember no pressure in your neck, your shoulders and foot and arms are supporting you. Stretch out through the ball of the foot area, base of the toes, and keep the knee as straight as you can if it's extended. Take a moment and breathe. Exhale in tension, hips even. And again, lower the leg, bend the knee, foot to the floor. Again, arching up and releasing your hands. Shoulders and spine all the way down. Take a moment and breathe. Exhale any tension. 
And we're going to do one more version. This one's a little more advanced. Uh -huh. So just allow yourself to do what's right for your body. As we get into this next version, you may want to stick with the basic bridge. That's perfectly okay. Do what's right always for your body. Shoulders relaxed. Sitting bones and heels aligned. Knees straight up toward the ceiling. Check your body. Relax for a moment. Let that core release. And then pressing down, as always, we're going to go just up into the gentle bridge. So hands next to you, rolling onto your shoulders as you lift your hip bones straight up toward the ceiling. Knees still hip width apart. Allow your body just to deepen into your bridge as much as you want. If you want to go further, bring your hands under your hips, lifting a little higher, supported bridge. And if you want, you can extend your legs straight out. Take a breath, exhale, bend attention. If you put your feet up, bring them back. If you've got your hands under your hips, release them. Again, supporting with your shoulders, release slowly the one bone of your spine at a time down to the floor. As you get all the way down, take a moment to breathe. Exhale, press your back down, draw your knees toward your heart and your head up toward your knees. Give yourself a good stretch and like your appreciative yoga hug, let your body know you appreciate all that back bending work today. Head to the floor, hands down, feet to the mat and slide your legs out coming into your reclined integration. Take a breath. Exhale any tension. And bring your arms to two position. And keep the hands, palms up today. Sitting bones toward your heels, back pressing down. Bend your right leg and put the foot on the left thigh. We're doing our bent knee chiropractic twist for that lower back to give it a stretch. Exhale, roll all the way to the Right side, no, left side, sorry. Knee down and left hand on your right knee, right arm above your shoulder, palm open. We'll look at it as you lower that hand toward the floor behind you into your twist. So the more you keep the knee down, the more that lower back gets a little release from all that back bending work you were doing. The more you keep it down, the more release you'll get as you're in this position. So if you need to, you can release the knee a little bit and let it be a little bit more gentle than that low back. Head turning, neck area twist. Remember, if you've got any neck issues, be gentle there as well. And just let the hand come toward the floor, maybe up in the air, that's okay. Middle back twist when your body's ready. So just let the hand be where it is and let gravity do the work pulling you into your twist when your body's ready. Exhale. Let the ligaments get a little more release as you relax even deeper into your twist if that's where your body is ready to go. And when you're ready to release, just let go of your leg, roll onto your back, slide the foot near the other one, coming back into T position. So we can twist to the other side and balance the body. Remember, twists balance the body and the energy. So we always like to end with a twist before our relaxation. And once again, sitting bones toward your heels, press your back gently there, bend your left leg, foot to the right thigh, and roll this time to the actual right side. So knee down to the floor, hands together in front of you. Keep your head on the floor. Remember, don't overwork your neck at all in a twist. And what is this? Right hand on your left knee and left arm up to the ceiling, palm open toward the top. And again, let gravity pull your arm behind you as you turn and look at it, moving into your twist. The more you keep that knee on the floor, 
the more the lower back is in the twist. And the more you turn your head, your neck is in the twist. So always be personal practice, gentle, wherever you need to. If your arm is in the air, don't worry about it. Just let it be where it is, relaxing. Make sure it's at shoulder level, not going down toward your toes or up toward your head, but straight back. So that heart area is nice and open going into the twist, letting that shoulder relax as the head comes toward the floor behind you. Take a breath. Exhale, tension. Letting the ligaments release and your spine relax and your body twist maybe a little deeper when it's ready. And of course, hold the twist as long as you like on your own. But we need time for our relaxation. So go ahead, releasing your knee, rolling onto your back, slide feet together, and then separate them to hip width. Hands moving toward your hips, slightly away from your side. Let those shoulders come down to the floor. A little arch in your back for that natural curve to your spine. And then just relax completely. Feel your whole body, lots of torso work today, hip work, just allow that whole midsection just to soften and sink. Breathe deep, exhale, just let your body go, grow heavy and sink deeper with each breath into that earth support. And as you breathe deep, Allowing your body to relax. Just allow thoughts of your body to release from your attention. As those thoughts drift away with your breath, just know other thoughts will come to you. It's always the job of your mind to produce the thoughts. It's your choice whether you pay attention. At this moment, there's no need to remember the past, no need to anticipate the future. Let the thoughts drift away as easily as your breath. And as you breathe in, draw in energy and peace. And as you exhale, let any stress or tension go, letting your body sink and your mind just float. And turn your awareness away and deeper inward into that peace. Hold go deep within. Fill your body with peace and your mind with peace. And just take a few moments to be peace. And of course, if you have time to keep relaxing today, take all the time you have. Or if it's time to get ready for the rest of your day, begin drawing energy and awareness with the breath back to the moment, to the room, to your body. And begin moving your body gently as you breathe more fully, allowing your body just to gently release and relax into the moment. And as you breathe more fully and stretch more completely, when you're ready for your final yoga hug of appreciation, <clears throat> sitting bones toward your heels and draw your heels toward your hips. Bring your knees toward your heart. Wrap your arms around for that appreciative yoga hug. Give yourself that encouragement and release and let your body know you appreciate its yoga work today all that back bending in your bridge position. Get a good stretch belly on the back, counteracting those bridges. 
And when you're ready to release, head and feet to the floor, roll over to the side, and sit back up, getting ready for whatever's ahead for you today. Thanks for joining me.